Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also, welcome to our last day of our five days of Christmas. For today, um, all of us are basically just doing um, anything we want. So I decided to do another card. So I figured, since we all do Christmas cards, I figured I would do another super simple card for you. Something that you could definitely mass produce. Okay, so I'm going to show you the items I used. I used, again, my Fun Stitched Ornaments, which I, this is Fun Stitched Ornaments and more. Love this set. This has the, all the ornaments and it has a, a set of six stamps that you could use to decorate all the ornaments with. Are using this along with my Thank You Frame, the Thank You and Frame die. So I used the big frame right here for my card, okay? So unfortunately I started putting, oh, before I forget, I use this one too, my favorite. This is the inside Christmas card. So basically this was designed, um, for. there's three sentiments here that would be perfect for the inside of your cards, okay? All right, so as I, I thought I had my camera on as I was putting this together like a little bit ago, Unfortunately, I didn't, so you didn't miss much, so I'll just sh kind of walk you through what I did, and then we could continue. So basically, I went ahead and I um, stamped the inside, which says, Wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas and New Year that shines with happiness. I went ahead and I stamped that on the inside, and then I went ahead and I put some, um, <laughs> um, I was about to say duct tape, what do you call that stuff? The pop-up, the pop-up tape, and I... I just used this one. I found this under my stash because I'm running low on all this stuff. I just used this, just a little thickness there. Um, so I went ahead and I popped up that pretty frame. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I actually cut these out. Oh, and I also used this right here. My um, fun size scallop stitched bow die. Okay, so what I did was I cut out these, the little greenery here from the fun, um, those ornaments and more. So what I did was I cut this out because I kind of just want to make this like a little, nothing perfect, like a little wreath. Okay. So let me just kind of just, and it's not going to be like a perfect circle. So basically it's going to go like so, something of this nature, with our little bow like that. Okay. Um, now you don't have to use this particular bow because I know you probably want to mail it, or these could be for the people that you're going to actually go see. You know what I'm saying? I think this is perfect. Or you could go ahead and mail this in a little a bubble envelope, and it'll be perfect. Um, so anyways, you could use like a ribbon if you want, if you don't mind it smashing. Um, like a twine, I should say. You're safe with that. But I wanted to use that. So let me find... Here we go. I'm just going to start adhering this down. Um, and I'm just using my multi-medium matte adhesive here. Uh, let's just go ahead. I'm not going to put too much. I love this because it's such a fine, fine point that it works perfectly with this particular die. Okay, so there goes one down. Now let's go ahead and do this next one here. I hope all of you enjoyed our five days of Christmas. I love, love doing this. It's so much fun because it makes me get ready too. Okay. Oh, did I put it upside down? Hold on. Oh, you know, I didn't put enough here. But just a little bit more. And if it seeps out on the sides just a tad, it's okay because when it dries, it dries clear, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some little blocks here. Oops, let me grab these. To kind of just put them on top, just to hold them down a tad, like so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and here these last two on Now, I'm still undecisive. I actually changed my mind twice 
on this particular card. I'm still undecisive on what I want to do with the actual ornaments portion of this. Okay, so let me put these here now. I'm not 100% sure if I'm just going to use stickles. Um, I'm not sure just quite. Actually, you know, I think I have an idea, but I have to see if I have this particular color in my stash to put as a little, because my first intentions were to put an ornament on here, but I didn't have teeny tiny ones. Then I was thinking, you know what, I want to, since our sentiments, you know, says shine in it, I think I want to put something shiny on there. Just my, my little bow die. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some hot glue onto this back of the bow. Okay, sorry, that was out of the camera. I don't want to stretch it over too much and knock everything over I have on that side of the table. Okay, so I'm going to put this like so. I'm just going to hold that down just for a quick second. Hot glue is probably the best way to hold this down. And it'll stay beautifully. Okay, while I'm holding this portion down, let me put this. I think that should do. Yeah, that should do beautifully. Um, I'm going to look at my little sequence here. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. I thought I had circles. Let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm searching right now to see what I've got. All right, you know what we're going to go? We're just going to go with some simple red sequins. Nothing too crazy. I know we all have red sequins. Oopsie, hold on. <laughs> Let me just kind of put them where I would like them to go. I kind of want to put them in a little scattering. I don't want too many on here, but I'm just going to get out as much as I can for right now. And I'm just going to kind of scooch them down. Just like so. I think that's actually perfect. Okay. So now, somebody asked me what do I use to adhere down all of my sequins. I use this, if I go between this and my um, glossy accents, whichever I have like right here in front of me. Um, I didn't have this the last couple days because my son had used it for his project so I didn't have it accessible but that's why I love the glossy accents because that even though it's shiny it, make, it makes excellent adhesive as well. And that stays too, stays really well on your project. I'm going to kind of stick this right there underneath the little leaf. Okay. Just like kind of tuck that in. Oops. Okay, where do I want this? Let's put this right here. And I'm just kind of randomly just putting these anywhere. And this is a really quick card to make as well. Put that right there, kind of like a little behind that little leaf there. Put this right here. push that down all right and that's it really simple you could do this card in no time at all okay and that's it I'm not sure if I like that behind there or not oops yeah I guess I didn't put enough adhesive I think I'm gonna put it on top I don't like it behind there <laughs> Yeah, let's just change our mind there.
There you go. I'm just going to hold that down just for a little bit. Okay, and that's it. I don't want to put anything else on the front because I kind of want that whole wreath to be like a focal point. And then the inside, wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas and New Year that shines with happiness. Perfect. I love this the way this card came out. Okay, everybody, so that is it. Don't forget to check my blog to see if you are the lucky winner of yesterday's giveaway. <clears throat> and also to see what the rest of my amazing design team has for you today. Um, and also don't forget to leave your comments for a chance to win another $25 gift card to my store. Um, and I will announce all the, the winner for today. I'll announce that next week along with the winner. I didn't forget. Um, I have to announce the winner from our Black Friday sale. That lucky winner is going to be winning a good prize. <laughs> A good prize as well as these little gift cards here so um, I will announce all those when the the winner for today and the blog um, not the blog hop winner the Black Friday sale winner next Wednesday okay everyone so that is it that is a wrap of our five days of Christmas again I hope you all enjoyed what you saw all week and hopefully we helped you out to get your your crafty mojo going okay everyone so thank you so so much for tuning in thank you all for the fabulous comments and i have a great weekend and i will see you all back here monday morning bye bye